So the next camera rig we're going to do is the dolly camera rig. We're going to delete this. No. It changed back to the null name. I don't know why. We're going to create two new null objects. And I'm going to just create a new camera so we can start fresh. I'm going to put the camera below the nulls. And this null is going to be called crane, or you can call it pedestal. It's just the name of the camera move. And this one is going to be called track. Make them 3D again. And what you want to do is this is going to simulate a track like a railroad kind of track on the ground and it's going to simulate a dolly camera movement where the camera is on a tripod on the track moving towards the uh, mo moving towards the object or away from the object or side to side if we need to and then we have this crane here to simulate uh, elevation in case we need to move the camera up and down and it's uh, a lot easier it's, if you have ever seen like a, a football game and they have that that eye in the sky camera where it like kind of like can move up and down or forward and backwards without having to move around it's kind of like using that so that's what the this uh, camera is pretty much like so we're going to put these uh, nulls on the same exact position as the camera so let's copy the uh, position keyframes here and these two keyframes are already the same as the other null uh, position keyframes so all we need to do is the uh, the z-axis there and if we look in the custom view here or the top view here we can see that this is the null and then this is the camera and then they're the same spot now we can parent the camera to the crane and parent the crane to the track so this is how we should look down here so camera to crane and crane to track now we can use our null objects here and animate the position values to get to where we need to be so let's move our track in and you can see we've got a tracking movement going in just like if you would animate on the camera except for now we don't have to worry about motion paths on the camera and now we now we can use this crane um, here to use the uh, y-axis to use for elevation so let's do a simple camera move here. We will set this to where we need it to be. So let's put him in the middle with the crane there and keyframe it. And then I'll move the, the tracking movements here and set that position. And now we'll come in a few keyframes and zoom in. I'll track in actually both ways and then our crane looks fine we can move it a little bit if we need to and there we go i'm ram previewing it right now so you can see what's going on you can see it's a nice smooth animation usually at the end of your animations you probably want to make them easy ease keyframes so it looks uh more correct and there you go so that's how you set up your rigs. Um, notice that you use the uh, crane here for moving up and down and the track for moving in and out or left and right. Kind of like how you would use these uh, tools here. And uh, that way the uh, keyframes don't get all messed up with each other and interact in ways that you don't want them to. And you don't have a bunch of different keyframes. So I'm going to end the tutorial here for the camera rigs. We learned the orbit camera rig and the dolly camera rig. And you'll want to have uh, two separate rigs if you need to use both of them in your cameras. 
um, when you're when people are filming in a movie or something like that they're not going to use both at the same time so you're going to often switch uh, camera views like you're going to have a cut in between your scenes so that way it looks uh, realistic and correct so thank you for watching this tutorial I hope to see you on the next tutorial where I'm going to go over tips for animating your camera that I did not go over in the other uh, tutorials so thanks for watching see you guys in the next one